Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 22 big money bolos coming your way. So these are items that I sold for $35 or more. Items that I've picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, places like that. And I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So we are gonna get started and make a comment. Tell me something maybe that you sold for big money. I don't know, just make a comment. I feel like um, I don't get a lot of comments and I'm like, maybe I need to ask more questions or I don't know, but make a comment. Let's see how many comments we can get on this video and hit that thumbs up. I guess those things help with the algorithm. I mean, I don't know, but it makes sense. So if you can comment and like, that would be amazing. All right, let's get started here. All right, screen share is up. Let's look at the first big money bolo. So the first item I got at a garage sale, and you may have seen this video, but it was right when quarantine was over. So everybody was still like, should we have a garage sale? Should we go to garage sales? And, you know, still kind of in that mode of things. Um, which in a lot of places, it's still like that now. But um, my sister had sent me a text and she said, the neighbor's having a garage sale. And I'm like, okay. So I go to the garage sale and they're like, you can have whatever you want. We're getting ready to move. Everything is free. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm a reseller. Everything's free. That is like the best sound ever, like the best words ever. So um, I loaded up my vehicle and I have a video on everything I got. And I mean, I got bolos for free. You guys go check out that video. I think it's called like, I got it free garage sale, something like that, but unbelievable. But this is one of the items that I got. They are Banana Republic boots. They're new without tags. I mean, brand new guys, free. They're like, ah, oh, you can have it. You can just have whatever you want. Okay. Um, but you know, they're, they're moving. They don't want to load the stuff up. Thrift stores were not taking donations because they were overstocked and they didn't have people working. So they just wanted the stuff gone. And like I said, that was music to my ears. So I did end up taking a best offer of $40 on these. I mean, I figured I got them free. They're offering me 40 bucks. So the buyer did pay the shipping. So they're Banana Republic men's boots. Okay, so this one is amazing. So this is from the Cats musical. It's a Broadway play. And I actually have signed, um, like this is an email. Um, there's a newspaper article, a calendar, and it's vintage and it's autographed, okay? So you can see here, here's the autograph. And apparently there was something that happened with this. I was reading up on it. I can't remember all the details. But anyway, I found this at an estate sale in a drawer on the last day. So typically when you go to estate sales on the last day, there's not a whole lot left, right? And if it is, it's probably not going to be a bolo item. I grabbed all of the playbills, all of these plays, um, like the calendar, everything. And I had no idea that this stuff was autographed, no clue. I just shoved it all together and went down and I said, what do you want for all of it? I don't even remember what I paid for it. It was not much at all. Um, it was unbelievable. It was just a great, great find. And I have so many of the items that I got out of that drawer have been bolos. But apparently, if I remember correctly, the parents of one of the actors in the play um, lived at this home. And I can't remember which actor or anything like that, but that's the story behind it as to why they had these items. So pretty cool. I did take a best offer of $110 for this and the buyer paid shipping. I had another one and I can't remember which play that was, but it was also autographed. And I want to say it sold for like $100 also. And that one sold on Mercari. So I think I might have it on the thumbnail if you guys want to go check out that video. 
So yeah, $110 buyer paid shipping. So that is a really fun one. The next item I sold are these vintage woodworking rasp and file lot. It's a lot of 18. I picked these up at a garage sale. Um, I paid five bucks for them and I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, on these, I, I kind of just picked a number because I really wasn't sure the value and then somebody made me an offer. The next item, okay, so these are putts houses um, or that's a putts house and they're made in Japan and you guys know I love selling made in Japan. I picked this up at a thrift store in a bag full of um, putts houses. This one was a little bit more fancy, so I did price it a little bit higher. And actually, when I first priced it, I had it like at $100. I was like, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to get tons of money for this. I thought it was really special. Well, it wasn't so special. So somebody uh, informed me that it wasn't so special and I reduced the price. I don't know if that's who ended up buying it or not, but I ended up selling it for $55 and 25 cents and the buyer paid shipping, which to me that is still a fantastic bolo because I probably had about 25 cents in it. The next item I sold is this Barbie loves Elvis, um, never removed from box, uh, Barbie set. This came from the garage sale where I bought all of the Barbies off the table. So I have about $3 in this and I took a best offer of $45 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this came from a, it was like a neighborhood garage sale, but this was actually an estate. So you actually went into the home and they had a whole bunch of these clothic uh, Santas. And I have sold these before, but some of these were, you know, just okay condition. But for some reason I decided I just was gonna lot them and sell them all together. I don't remember what I paid for them. I'm gonna say I probably had $10 or less in all of them. They were still a little bit dusty and I just didn't wanna mess with it. So I sold them together and I ended up taking a best offer of $75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item my dad gave me, um, they bought these for their home and they decided to go with a different look. And he's like, here, you wanna put them on eBay? And I said, okay. Actually, they took a while to sell but uh, the same person bought both of them and I think they offered me 50 and I was like, you know, I'll do 70 each. So I sold both of them for 140 and that was free to me. The next item are these Simpsons Burger King plush toys. So these are from Burger King. These came in that huge Simpsons lot that I bought um, at the thrift store. Uh, I sold these for $38 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So they are Burger King, you guys, and mine still have the tags attached. I'm sure that you can find these at sales and stuff without the tags, but um, I'm just gonna try and show you. Uh, see right there, it says Burger King. So the next item I sold are these vintage Levi's jeans. I picked these up at a garage sale. I paid $5 for them. They are the orange tab made in the USA. And I took a best offer of $40 for these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was just, um, it was at a garage sale. It was new old stock and it just looked interesting to me. I knew nothing about it. I did look it up while I was there, but um, I could not find the exact item. So I went ahead and priced this um, at what the other comparables were. But again, mine was a little bit different. I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping and I paid $5 for this. And it's a Kobe, I think is how you pronounce it, cookware fry pan. It's carbon steel coated with fine porcelain and it's got the floral print. So definitely an interesting piece. I wouldn't want to cook with it. It's like too fancy. It looks like a decoration. <laughs> the next item I sold is this vintage play school dollhouse roof. This is a replacement roof for a dollhouse. Um, I purchased the dollhouse and it was missing pieces and was not in the greatest shape. So I decided to sell the roof. Um, it sold for $41 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold very fast. The next item I sold is this lot of Disney, Mickey Mouse, Minnie, Donald, you know, all the figures you can see here. They're all, you know, from the Mickey series. And I decided to lot them up. I probably could have sold them for more, putting them in smaller lots, but this is what I decided to do. 
and I sold them for $44.10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Calico Critter Beavers. And I can't remember if this was Facebook Marketplace or a garage sale, but I had about $5 in these. And I took a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was a nice surprise. This was also in that tote of toys that had been sitting in my basement forever. And um, I looked him up and he is missing his cane. I did Google image search and he is a rare homies joke a child joker. Um, joke a wild 2003. No clue, you guys. I just looked up comps and I was pleasantly surprised. I did take a best offer of $45 in the buyer paid shipping and I probably had 25 cents in this, if that. So this is the Bratz Rock Angels lot. It's replacement um, instruments like the drums and the keyboard, uh, the microphones. And I ended up selling these for $51.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at a garage sale. It was a huge lot of Bratz items. I can't remember what I paid for everything, but I probably have a couple bucks in this. The next item I sold is this Street Fighter 2 Turbo Super Nintendo and SNES game. It had the box in the manual and it was untested because I don't have a system to test it. Um, and CIB is complete in box. I ended up taking a best offer on this of $51. The buyer paid shipping and I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item I sold is the Vintage Play School Victorian Dollhouse Stairway Railings. So the roof that you guys saw, this is this, um, the railing, the replacement railing. And I sold this for $41 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Vintage Mermaid Riding a, um, a Dolphin. I don't know what I was going to say, Mermaid, whatever. Uh, mermaid Riding a Dolphin. And this would be like something that you would hang in your bathroom, I don't know, super cute, but it ended up selling for $55 and 70 cents. I'm sorry, 76 cents and the buyer paid shipping. You can see on the back, it is Atlantic mold. And if I remember correctly, I got this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. The next item I sold is this vintage dress. Now, remember the garage sale? I got it free where I got the shoes. The first item I showed you, this came from that same sale. And I sold this for $65. I took a best offer and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, it's just a really vintage prom dress. And I think they had it with the Halloween costumes. It's union made in the USA. Let me show you the tag here. So always look for these. But yes, uh, $65 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney Hannah Montana electric pinball machine. It was new old stock. I picked this up at a garage sale for a couple bucks and I sold it for $50 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I took a best offer on that. And the last item is this vintage tea. It is Dorsey Schroeder from 1990. I think I'm saying that right. It says GTO champion. Again, it's a racing shirt. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $69.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is a new old stock shirt, but it was pretty wrinkled from just sitting like probably in storage. All right, you guys, this is my big money bolo video. Again, make me a comment down below. Maybe tell me what your favorite bolo was. Um, yeah, put your comment down below. Thanks for watching.